Hello and welcome to class. My name is Benin and I'm an English teacher from the UK. Today I would like to share with you one of my favourite tips ever for improving pronunciation and sounding just that bit more natural when speaking English. This tip is to stress content words. If you're not too sure what stress is or what content words are, please don't worry, I will do my best to explain as we go. So the first thing we need to know for this topic is that English is what we call a stress-timed language. So what this means is that in English, we have some syllables that are said, so some beats of the word, a syllable is a beat of the word, that are said much, much longer, they're really stretched out, and others that are said really quickly and really softly. So other types of language, which are syllable timed, have more of a monotone beat. So all the syllables have quite a similar duration. So do, 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 do. But because in English, we've got some that are really stretched and some that are really soft, we get this quite musical quality. So do, 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 or really up and down, right? We can hear some syllables really clearly and others really softly. Let me give you some example sentences, really simple sentences to start noticing this. The first one is, do you want a cup of tea? Do you want a cup of tea? So can you notice there are a couple of words here that are really stretched out compared to others. And it's almost like we're stretching a rubber band for these syllables. Do you want a cup of tea? Do you want a cup of tea? So we've got want, cup, tea, very long, also louder and at a higher pitch than the other syllables, by the way. Do you want a cup of tea? We're really hearing want, cup, tea, super strongly. Have a try with me, focus on stretching out these syllables. Do you want a cup of tea? Do you want a cup of tea? Let's have a try with another sentence. Should we get some fish and chips? Should we get some fish and chips? Which words are really stressed here? Should we get some fish and chips? Get, fish, chips. Have a try with me. Focus on stretching out those syllables. Should we get some fish and chips? Okay, so now we know that some syllables in English are said much longer, also a little bit louder and higher pitch than others. But how do we know where to find these syllables? It's very easy when I'm telling you, isn't it? But where do we find them? The answer is that these syllables, these stressed syllables, can be found in what we call content words in English. So content words are like the key words of a sentence, the, the words that really give us the main idea, the main meaning of the sentence. So they tend to be things like nouns, adjectives, adverbs, main verbs, so things like run, go, uh, try, not auxiliary verbs like could, can, must, etc. We also find them in negatives and question words. So these real keywords, we will not find stress syllables in things like prepositions, pronouns, auxiliary verbs, um, this kind of thing. Okay, so it's in these real keywords. And if the content word is one syllable, like want, try, um, book, the whole word gets stressed, okay, because it's just one syllable. However, if the stress, if the content word is more than one syllable, for example, take the noun mountain, for example, there will just be the one stress syllable. So if you listen to me, mountain mountain. We're not stressing the whole word, but just the stressed syllable in that content word. Okay, so we can see this clearly. Let's have another example sentence. I really want to go on holiday to Iceland. I really want to go on holiday to Iceland. So we can see if the content word is just one syllable, for example, want, want, we stress the whole word. But if the content word is more than one syllable, we hear one stress syllable much more clearly. For example, really, holiday, Iceland. So if we have the whole sentence, I really want to go on holiday to Iceland. Have a try with me. I really want to go on holiday to Iceland. 
Okay, so now that we know where to find these stressed syllables, I'd like you to have some practice of your own. I'm going to put some sentences on the screen and I'd like you to read them, pause the video and think about which syllables would be stressed. So which syllables would be said longer, at a higher pitch and louder than the others. Then I will tell you the answers, okay? And we'll talk about why those syllables are stressed. The first sentence, so read it, pause the video, take your time. And now I'll read it. Shall we go to the park? Shall we go to the park? So we're stressing here, go, because it's a main verb, and park, because it's a noun. Try repeating with me. Shall we go to the park? Okay. Second sentence, read it, pause the video, see what you think. Now I'll read it. I always wanted to try to run a marathon. I always wanted to try to run a marathon. So here, always is an adverb, so we stress it and the stress syllable is all, always. Wanted is a main verb, so we stress it and we stress the stress syllable want. Try and run are main verbs and they're one syllable, so the whole thing is stressed. And finally, ma in marathon because it's a noun is stressed. Listen and repeat with me. I always wanted to try to run a marathon. Next sentence, read, pause, see what you think. Now I'll read. He doesn't know a lot about geography. He doesn't know a lot about geography. So we're stressing the doesn't, the does there because it's a negative. We're stressing no because it's a main verb, lot because it's a noun, and geography is also a noun, but we stress just the stress syllable jo, geography. Listen and repeat with me. He doesn't know a lot about geography. He doesn't know a lot about geography. Number four, have a look at the sentence, read, think. Now I'll read, where do you think you left it? Where do you think you left it? So we're stressing where because it's a question word, think because it's a main verb and left because it's a main verb also. And the last sentence, have a look, pause the video. Now I'll read, going to Italy would be an amazing trip. Going to Italy would be an amazing trip. So going, main verb, go is the stress syllable. Italy is a noun, it is the stress syllable. Amazing is an adjective, may is the stress syllable and trip is a noun, so it gets stressed. Again, listen and repeat with me. Going to Italy would be an amazing trip. So then, in summary, what have we learned today? First of all, that English is a very musical language, so we get some syllables that are really stressed and others that are said really softly and quickly. If you can find a way to incorporate this musicality into your own speaking, you will sound a lot, lot more natural. And how can you do this? Well, you can really stretch out, lengthen and say louder and longer the stress syllables within content words. So content words being those words, key words that give us the main idea of the sentence in English. Things like nouns, main verbs, adjectives, adverbs, question words and negatives. It's a challenging topic, I know, so if you would like some extra support, this is something I practice a lot with my students in classes. So if you would like to practice some more with me, just visit the links in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye.